Hi, this is Alan from Measure Square. I'll be going over the project estimating menu options that have changed between version 8941 and version 9422 in Measure Square 8. You can see these estimating options by clicking on the gear icon in the upper toolbar. First, two new fields have been added, width margin and length margin. These set how much of your roll should be considered waste. Next up, the roll allocation feature for creating die lots has been moved. Instead of right clicking on a project item and clicking roll allocation as shown in this screenshot, you can get to it by going to the gear icon in the upper toolbar, going to roll length option, then clicking on roll allocation in the drop down menu. For the Square Up Wedge Cuts option, it has been moved from its own checkbox in the Project Estimation window, shown here, to a drop-down menu selection in the same window for the Max Roll Cut Length section. All you have to do is just click on the drop-down menu and select Square Up Wedge Cuts. Please be aware that we have a new setting called Max Carry Distance, which will control how much you want your cuts to be wedged together. A lower number will create more space between your cuts, and a higher number will reduce it. The pattern match settings for roll cuts has also been updated to have a drop in menu for a roundup to pattern. Previously, there was a checkbox for a roundup to pattern size, shown here. Now, to get the roundup to pattern size effect, you can go to the estimating options and choose the length and width option for the roundup to pattern. If you want to set a specific pattern match length and width, you can do so in the new version by selecting none for roundup to pattern, then typing in the desired numbers into the pattern match width and pattern match length boxes. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe to our channel for more updates.